Orion's one of the best known constellations of the winter night sky and easily spottable thanks to its row of three stars forming Orion's belt. And in today's video we're going to be searching for one of its hidden treasures. Welcome back to the Camping Astronomer channel folks. My name's John and I make videos on camping, astronomy and walking. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as there may be others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with today's video. In the winter time Orion gives us astronomers a fantastic opportunity whether we're uh, visual astronomers or astrophotographers to look at some of the real jewels of the night sky it contains objects that are suitable for beginners and advanced astronomers and astrophotographers regardless of whether you're using a telescope, a pair of binoculars or even the naked eye shows uh, some of the magnificence of this particular constellation. Whilst Orion doesn't have any galaxies that we can look at through our telescopes it has many many nebula some of which produce fantastic photographs, some of the most photographed objects in the night sky. Now there are actually four different types of, of nebula in the night sky. There's um, emission nebula, uh, reflection nebula, planetary nebula and dark nebula. And emission nebula are nebula that contain gases that are excited by the formation of nearby stars and the energy given out by those stars. Reflection nebula are nebulae that reflect the light from nearby stars. Dark nebulae are areas of gas and dust that are dark and block the light out from stars behind them and nebula behind them. And planetary nebulae are nebulae that are created when a star goes supernova and explodes and uh, all of it, it gives off a load of gases basically when its, its shell is exploded into the uh, surrounding space. Wide field photographs of Orion will actually show some of these even if you're just taking them with a DSLR, you know, a big picture of the Orion constellation will show some of these nebulae. It's also got a bright star, it's got a number of bright stars in fact, but the most famous of which is uh, Betelgeuse, which is an orange star in the top left hand corner. And this is in fact a um, red giant star that we're waiting for it to go supernova and explode. And it's due to go any time now, but in astronomical terms that's any time over the next sort of million years or so. There was a bit of excitement uh, last year because it started to dim, uh, which is one of the precursors to it exploding. But even so, the chances of this happening in our lifetime is, uh, is pretty minimal. When it does explode, it will probably produce a, a enough light so it will be actually bright enough to spot it even during the daytime. But there'll be no harm comes to us here. Probably the best and known and most photographed object in the night sky is the Orion Nebula and this is an emission nebula where all the gases are energized by um, energy that's being given off uh, by the stars within the nebula and the Orion Nebula is best thought of as a, a kind of stellar nursery. It's where stars are born basically. As I say it's probably the most photographed object in the night sky and suits both um, beginners and advanced astrophotographers and is visible to the naked eye, uh, looks good through a pair of binoculars and a telescope. Nearby to the Orion Nebula is the Flame Nebula and the Horsehead Nebula, both of which are very close to each other. The Flame Nebula is another emission nebula and the Horsehead Nebula is a dark nebulae and basically it's a, a load of dark gas and dust that is obscuring the light from behind it which is coming from another emission nebula and again this is a really popular astrophotography target and it's even possible to pick it up with a, a shot from a, a 
DS, a widish angle shot from a DSLR and say a, a 50 millimeter lens if you, if you blow it up. There is an emission nebula within Orion and it's a little bit of a hidden treasure and this is going to be our target for this video. It's called Messier 78 or M78 and is an area where gases are uh, subtly lit up by light given off by some nearby stars. And I'm hoping that in the, the same frame of view, we should be able to pick up something called Barnard's Loop, which is a red nebula, predominantly hydrogen, and it's a big loop that encircles the Orion constellation as a whole. And it was thought that this was caused by a um, massive stellar explosion about two million years ago. So that's the target for today's video. And I hope you'll join me for the journey to try and get a photograph of it. Before, but you are the love of my life I knew when you came through the door That you are the love of my life In the end, I got an hour on M M78. Um, basically, what happens for me is Orion pops up behind some trees eventually, and then it moves across the sky, but then it starts to impinge on an area affected by a street lamp at the back of my garden. So I typically have about an hour in which to take my shots. Um, so I did 60 60 second exposures um, to create the, the final picture, which I'll put up in a moment. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the Orion constellation and I hope you like the picture of the reflection nebula M78 uh, with the little bit of Barnard's loop shown in it. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. So cheerio.